Good morning. So I'm going to start eating healthy, which means I need to eat oatmeal. But I don't have any oatmeal, so I need to go to the store. And I need coffee also. <laughs> I always laugh when people give me Starbucks gift cards. I'm like, I'm never gonna use that shit, but here we go, I'm about to use it. So a lot of people have been asking me, why are you making videos? Why did you quit your job? And it's very simple. I used to be in great shape. I used to be free as a bird, just like a total adventurer. I traveled to Israel when I was in my 20s and served in the army over there. And then after that, I traveled pretty much nonstop. I was, since I left LA, I basically traveled and lived in different places and worked in different places for 10 years. I've been back in LA for a year and I really feel like I'm turning into some fat, domesticated cow whose only purpose is to live for the rat race and make money and advance professionally and blah blah blah. I fucking hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it. It's not for me. Plus, in addition to that, I mean, I used to be in really good shape. Like, I'll show you guys some videos. Like, I used to be shredded. Shredded doesn't even describe it. And I, I was watching the videos the other day and I was like, wow. I can't believe I used to look like that. I'm really glad I took those videos back then, but you know, why don't I look like that now? And I think the reason is, number one, sedentary lifestyle. Living in LA, you have to drive everywhere, and you just sit down too much, and I'm eating shitty food. My last job was a solar job. I have to drive here, drive there, and you can't always eat whenever you want. You can't always go to the gym because you have an unpredictable schedule. I was like, fuck it, why am I doing this? Why am I living like this? This is not the type of life that I want to live. So that's it. Now I'm making videos, and that's it. I just want to do something different and interesting every day. Film it. There's seriously no looking back. And that's it. I'm going to clean my apartment and go to the gym. clothes, I got my pen, I got my shoes, it's time to go to the gym. After that, I got my computer and I'm going to go collaborate with a friend of mine on a YouTube video. He doesn't want me to say who he is because he's a little weird, but uh, what can you do? If I had a DUI, I would totally call them. Now that is some good advertising right there. Oh man, there's nothing like a good workout. I just got offered a job also, by the way, by one of my gym friends. I told him that I quit my solar job and he's like, oh, come work for me. I sell real estate in Beverly Hills. It actually sounds pretty good. I'm kind of considering it, but you know, keep your eyes on the prize, right? I make eggs because I'm poor. So this is downtown Culver City. Now Culver City used to be where you went to, you know, buy drugs, but now it's like a nice little downtown area and some restaurants, but it's, it's really just these three blocks and then that's it. At night there's nice Christmas lights. Great bar here. All right, well, that's, Great bar. In, that's interesting. So if you're ever in Culver, downtown, there's not a lot of nightlife, check out the Culver Hotel Bar. Who does Farmer's Market on a Tuesday? Or is it Good Wednesday? Point. Good point. It's Tuesday. Good point. It's like the JV Farmer's Market. They're like not ready right? for Sundays. So. Yeah, they're like, all right, in, in a year we're going to move to Santa Monica. But today, today we're in Culver City. Organic vegan bakery, flowers, Gayton Family Farm, knife shark. That's pretty cool. Knife sharpening has been there for a while, huh? I feel like farmers markets are like where like rich wives go to buy overpriced fruits and vegetables. I don't know, it seems like they're just setting up too. Uh, I think they're closing down, no? No, they're putting up stuff. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Pop long go, alright. Was it plus? This guy is pretty smart with the mosquito net. Yeah. How do they fold the bags like that? 
it's, it's for sure like you can charge an extra two dollars if you do that. It's, very, it's a nice aesthetic. Yeah. For sure, for sure. Give him a break. Give him a break. Let's no, no. come back and give him a donation. All right, fine. He's still alive. <laughs> That's so wrong. I do it like by myself, and my life is boring. If I even just have one other person there, then it's like much yeah, more. That's what I told you. you yeah, know, no shit. But you're like the only person I know who does nothing. Who does nothing all day? You know. I can't afford that. I gotta get to work. Okay, you're working now. You're you're a partner in my YouTube show. And what are these people drinking on a Wednesday afternoon at lunchtime? It's Tuesday. You realize you can edit it out anyway, right? How do you want to do that? Three. Okay. Did you press play? Yeah. All right. I was just telling my friend here that I went to this, uh, I went to like the end of a personal development seminar on Sunday because there was this girl there who I was kind of interested in. And I, you know, she was there, so I thought I would go too. Uh, so I went for a couple hours. It was terrible, but. Um, I listened to one of the speakers there, and he was the best speaker during the time that I was there. So here's what I got from this whole thing, right? It's not really about doing what you love, right? He was, he was talking this whole time about, you know, he's in the personal development space, and he go he teaches seminars every week, and when he's not teaching a seminar, he's out attending a seminar, and he pays all this money, and it's totally worth it because he knows it's going to come back to him times a hundred. It's like, okay, that's pretty cool. And I got to thinking, I was like, it's not really about what you are doing. Yeah, you need to like what you're doing, you need to enjoy it on some level, but it's really more about not doing what you hate. Because I think after so long, a lot of us were just stuck in jobs that we hate just to pay the bills. You work 40, 50 hours a week, some job, you can't stand it, just so you can go out on the weekends, just so you can sit at home and watch TV and play video games and do nothing, right? That's not, that's not, not a, a life. It's not a life. Right? So I think it's more about eliminating the parts that you don't like instead of finding something that's your passion that you love to do. Because it doesn't matter what you do, whatever it is, there's going to be parts of it that you don't really like. But as long as 80% of it you enjoy, then you're good. End of story. Awesome. Home sweet home. Oh, okay. That was fun. Had a nice productive day with my mysterious friend who doesn't like to be on camera. Now I'm back home, I'm going to edit today's footage, and then if I still have energy and finish in the next two to three hours, I'm going to go to the gym again. Okay, so it's been a long day, and I just want to end today's vlog with a couple of the lessons that I've learned from spending the entire day filming and then the second part of the day editing. So the first thing that I've learned is that you need to plan things out, right? You need to storyboard. You need to make sure that you know what you're going to do and, and what the purpose of the vlog is going to be in terms of the day. You need to know exactly what you're gonna do and you need to know how you're gonna transition in between the scenes. Problem that I found out today is that I would, you know, when I was editing just now, I had a lot of stuff that I had shot throughout the day, but when I was editing it, I it was hard for me to put it all together. I was like, Somebody who's watching this, who doesn't know what I did that day, is going to have no idea why the video looks like this. It needs to be planned out. Or, at the very least, uh, you know, explain what's going to happen in the next scene, right? For example, if I'm around here, I'm cleaning my apartment, then I need to sit in front of the camera and say, okay, I just finished cleaning my apartment. Now I'm going to go to my friend's house and we're going to talk about stuff and then go to the farmer's market. That needs to be done. Okay, number two. Uh, today, I realized that you need to not only be behind the camera, but you also need to be in front of the camera. What does that mean? Well, once again, I noticed when I was editing that the parts where I was in front of the camera or where any human was in front of the camera and talking, are much more interesting than me just being behind the camera and filming what's going on. You need to suck it up and just be in front of the camera. A lot of times that means doing it in public, which is not easy, but hey, that's that's what you gotta do, right? And also, the last thing is that you need to be conscious of your appearance, right? You can tell, I mean, my hair, I think I get a slight pass because, you know, it just, it's a mess. 
nothing you can do about that. But there's a difference between the way it looks now, which has stuff in it and, you know, I've showered and brushed it as opposed to when I have just woken up and it's like standing straight up. Um, nobody wants to see that. Nobody wants to see you just waking up out of bed unless you want to show that you just woke up out of bed and then you run your ass to the bathroom and get cleaned up. So anyway, I mean, I think those are pretty good lessons to have learned in a day and uh, I'm excited for tomorrow. Thank you.